Ariel Hawani for MMARated.com, standing next to John Alessio. John, you're fighting tomorrow night at the Thomas and Mack Center, a free-for-all event, boxing and mixed martial arts. How would you get involved with such a unique event like this? Uh, well, uh, I trained with Randy Couture, of course, and uh, Banner Promotions came to Randy, and they were talking about putting together the first ever big mixed martial arts and slash, slash boxing show together. And, uh, and uh, you know, I was ready for, for a fight, and the three weeks notice was perfect for me because I was already in shape. So I said, yeah, let's do it. You only found out about this three weeks ago. Yeah, the whole show got put together uh, real, real last minute. I mean, the boxing was always going to happen, but they decided to, uh, you know, throw in the mixed martial arts kind of like three and a half weeks out. What are your thoughts on MMA and boxing being together on the same card? Because it seems as though, especially now, fans of either sport don't really cross into each other. Do you think that there's sort of a market for fans of both sports? I think it's actually a good thing. There's a lot of animosity between the two sports. And uh, I think that bringing it together is going to bring those hardcore boxing fans get a chance to really watch MMA live and, and get a new uh, respect for it. And same with MMA fans that are kind of tired of boxing and they say it's boring or whatever. I think they're going to see some good boxing matches and, uh, you know, it's bring both communities together. This is the fight game, all right? So, you know, there's different forms of fighting and you got to respect it all. And the last time we saw you was in the WEC. Uh, it was a tough loss, kind of controversial. Uh, where are you right now in terms of, you know, obviously you're a big free agent in this sport and you want to get attached to a big organization. Who are you talking to right now? Uh, well, I can't, I can't oh, technically no. say anything until after the fight. Right. But uh, technically I wouldn't consider uh, that last fight a loss. I think I got the better end of that deal. Uh, hey, Brock Larson, how's your jaw doing, buddy? Um, but, he, he, you know, he walks away with the W and the bigger paycheck. But he also walked away with more damage. <laughs> what do you think of that call? You got DQ'd because you, uh, I guess, need him while he was still on the ground. Were, were you okay with that? In hindsight, I'm sure you've seen the tape since. Um, you know, I'm not okay with it at all. I mean, you guys all saw the Tally's Lady in Marquardt fight. Tally's Lady is the man. He's a warrior. And he even said in the interview afterwards, no, I'm going to keep fighting. Brock Larson took the easy way out. He knows it. When he watched that fight with Tally's Lady at home, he probably slumped down in his chair and realized how big of a fucking pussy he really is. WEC, are you officially done with them, or is there a future with them as well? Uh, well, we haven't re-signed with them. Uh, we didn't come to terms on an agreement or anything like that. Um, not ruling them out in the future. I feel like I have unfinished business with the WEC as far as, you know, I'd won three fights in a row. I was working my way back to a title shot. I felt like I was on my way to a victory against Larson, and uh, I want to get back in there, and I want to rematch with Larson, and then I want my title shot. So I would like to get back to WEC. But, you know, uh, like I've said before, I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere, any show. It doesn't matter. Pay me and I'll fight the best. Have you seen Brock Larson since that fight? I haven't, and it's probably a good thing. I don't think that it would be too good if we ran into each other. <laughs> uh, Elite XC is actually looking for a uh, welterweight to uh, go up against Jake Shields at the July 26th event. Would you like to throw your name into that hat? Uh, I think my name's in the hat, but I can't say anything. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> okay, final question. You're facing Pete Spratt tomorrow night, a true veteran of the sport. What are you expecting from him tomorrow? I'm expecting, uh, hopefully, the best Pete Spratt. I'm hoping he comes with his A game. I'm in phenomenal shape. I'm ready to push, the, push myself in this fight, I'm ready to push him, break him down. He's a good kickboxer. You know, he comes out and got good hands, good feet, but we all know his weakness. I mean, he gets submitted a lot, but uh, I'm, I'm sure he's been working his ground game. I don't expect him to be the same Pete Spratt. I'm sure he's taking me seriously. He knows my abilities, and so I think it's going to be a good fight. All right, well, John Alessio tomorrow night at the Thomas and Mack Center going up against Pete Spratt. Best of luck to you, John. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.